Hello. You crashed the system and have been educating the world about what it means to be non-binary. When did that term first sort of really start speaking to you? I think I've always kind of known that mm. when I was growing up, I felt always a bit different or like what I was told I had to do it wasn't working with me. I was shit at football. Like I couldn't do all of that stuff. Like I, I realised very early on that wasn't for me. And it wasn't until I moved to London and well, actually before that, fashion seeing so much androgyny in fashion mm. and thinking like that that resonates with me a lot more than what I'm seeing on tv and things so then I think moving to London and kind of living in East London like there's kind of no one has those barriers up like mm. the gen gender expression is so creative and free here that it's not really an issue so I didn't really think about it too deeply and then I heard the term non-binary and I think it's a good umbrella term for a lot of kind of people that feel gender queer or gender neutral or like anything that's under that kind of umbrella. So I think when I heard it, first heard it a few years ago, I was like, okay, that makes sense to me. I'm kind of, I feel like my gender feels neither here nor there. It's very much one day I feel more masculine. One day I might be more feminine. Like it's, to me, it's not really an issue. But I know to a lot of people, it's a new thing and it's an issue and it's different to what they've always learned. So I respect that and I appreciate that. But to be honest, it's something that I've never really thought too deeply about. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great that you were educating viewers, though, that may not really have considered what it means to be non-binary before. So I, I think it's important to hear it from people that actually experience it rather than having a debate or a discussion from people that haven't lived that or don't understand it yeah. and then also also coming from a place of kind of authenticity and like me and me and Jenny got emotional like it was yeah. it was like a heartfelt moment I think people I got emotional that. watching it yeah yeah it was a people relate to it because they're not it's not that thing of like oh you're shoving it down my throat because you're actually listening to someone a human being talk about their feelings and their experience and then people and seeing vulnerability people relate to it It's cracked the official single chart top 30, ranking higher than the Frock Destroyers, I think. Who? Maybe, maybe. Who? I've never, never heard, heard of them before. <laughs> <laughs> top in the charts. It's the first time I've topped anything in my life. You know, I I'm can very... imagine. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine such a thing? How are you feeling about it right now? I've, it's crazy to see, like, I've seen people getting my lyrics tattooed on them, which has been yeah. madness. Yeah. Gender bender, system offender, I've seen people getting them tattooed. Like, like about five different people have sent me photos of it. I, I didn't see it coming. No. I didn't see it coming. I remember when we first had those headphones in, in the workroom listening to the song, and I was like, what is this? Telly yeah. tubby stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is camp, this is lazy town on yeah. 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 But it's grown on me. It's grown on everyone. Everyone's living for it. 